Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. I am so excited to share this week's gig review, so stay tuned. So guys, you know I'm an eclectic, kind of open-minded person when it comes to music anyway. And my friend James, who I met doing Dave Stewart, um, he was at the place where we were rehearsing. So we got talking and we've been kind of talking ever since really. It's kind of cool when you meet people like that. Uh, it feels organic. So hey James, shout out to James. James took me to my first metal gig. And guys, I will say on record, I've never ever listened to metal. It's not really a genre that I know anything about. Um, and he asked me if I'd be willing to go to a gig with him. So I was like, yeah, completely. Um, I'm always up for learning new things, understanding new genres of music, because I just think it's, it's, it's a good way to open your mind. It's a good way to learn about other genres that you previously may not know anything about. And metal is something that I've never explored. And when I say never, I couldn't tell you any metal bands. I don't know, I don't know anything about metal. So going to the gig was like a real excitement for me. So the time came and then I started to get a little bit nervous. I'll be honest, I'll tell you why I was nervous. Firstly, I'm like, I'm the only person that's gonna look like me in this gig. This is what my thoughts were before I went. I'm also nervous because I don't know anything about metal. I won't be singing in any of the lyrics because I don't know any of them. And more times you can't hear any of the lyrics. Um, and thirdly, I was just feeling a little bit like, oh my God, am I gonna like it? Is it gonna be good? Am I gonna feel out of place? All those things were running through my mind and I was starting to get a little bit ner nervous getting close to the gig. But I went and oh my gosh, I did enjoy it. <laughs> so I went to see a band called Feed the Rhino and this was in Camden, a venue called Underworld. I had never been to the venue before. I didn't even know about the venue. And then I'd never heard about the band, obviously. So I went, we, I met James outside the venue. We went inside and the gig venue looked like any other venue. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was kind of expecting some completely different thing. So then I got there and there was this band called Bad, Bad Sign that went on beforehand. I really enjoyed it. They were on for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And there was three people, a drummer, a bassist, and a guitarist. And they did their thing. I really did enjoy it. Hand on heart, say I did enjoy it. It's not something that I choose to listen to, but when I watched them, I completely got it, got it. Like they were jumping all over the stage, they were using the whole space. The drummer was amazing. Whoever you are, drummer, you were, you were, the, you kind of caught me, you caught my attention, you were amazing. Okay, I forgot to tell you, James, who I came with, he was like, have you got any earplugs? And I was like, no, why do I need earplugs? He's like, babes, if you wanna come out here with your ears intact, I ha you need earplugs, so I have brought some for you. James, I have to say, you clearly saved my life and you saved my ears because the bands were loud, like super loud. Even with the earplugs on, they were loud. So if I didn't have earplugs, I probably wouldn't be able to hear a week later. So anyway, Feed the Rhino came on. I have never seen a show like this in my life. You wanna talk about crowd surfing, there was real crowd surfing going on. There was real, real like crowd particip participation. There was a mosh pit. I mean, I've never seen this with my own eyes. I've seen it on, on YouTube, I've seen it on the telly, and I've never, I've seen it on social media and all that kind of stuff, but I've never seen it live and direct. I nearly lost my mind. I was like, oh my God, this is real. The whole screaming thing, like when when metal bands do the scream thing, scream, I don't, is it singing? Can you consider it singing? I don't know, but they were screaming. I'm like, that in itself is a skill. Because if I did that, I would not have a voice. Like if every time I did a gig, I had to do that, I would have nothing left. I mean, sometimes I sing really hard and then I've got no voice the next day. But they were like, ah, I'm screaming. I can't believe, I, I can't believe they did it for a whole gig. So shout out to the lead singer of the band because that is not a, 
like I couldn't see myself doing it and the fact that you could do that for a whole gig and do this night after night you are the greatest. James gave me a little lowdown about the band and their history and their albums and some of the songs that they've done and obviously it's all news to me so I was being educated as he was explaining all this stuff and then when I saw them I totally get it like it's like a movement it's like a movement people who do metal they're a community and I, I didn't feel part of the community but I totally got it and I was definitely glad that I went hand on heart say that I enjoyed the gig okay these are the, th the takeaway things that I got metal is not my thing However, going to that gig, I totally got it. Um, I really liked Bad Sign and it's something I would listen to myself now. I think I would probably go and look for their stuff on Spotify or YouTube and see what other things they have. And they're from Croydon, South London in the building. Um, with Free the Rhino, there was a lot more people and what I was more enchanted by was the fact that he kept diving into the crowd people kept jumping on the stage and just launching out and then people would just catch them there was one thing where he made the whole crowd get down really low and then they all came up he was at one point on somebody's neck they were he was doing like walking through the crowd on, crowd on their hands or their shoulders or something because he was definitely not on the floor but he was walking through the crowd he jumped out a thousand times and I'm like, this is amazing. Like, this is real crowd participation. <laughs> and the audience, I was really shocked that the audience were not the kind of people that I would have expected to be into metal. Some of them were look like businessmen and some of them were like, I don't know, just people that I wouldn't have pictured at a gig like this. There was more diversity than I imagined would be there. And obviously me being there, I thought, oh, like I'm gonna look like a, stand out like a sore thumb i'm gonna look like i totally don't belong here and even before i was talking to mia and i was saying mia you really do need to hold my hand because i don't feel like i'm gonna fit in here <laughs> but actually it was so cool would i listen to it again or would I go, would i go to another gig yes i think i would um would i buy a metal album this is the next question and i have to put a question mark on that because i need to like listen to a little bit more uh, music in that vein to get a feel for whether it's something that I would actually listen to in my everyday I'm not sure but I definitely was pleasantly surprised and the musicality is there like you know you kind of think it's just headbanging like lots of loud guitars but actually there is musicality um there was highs and lows there were some songs that were slower and a bit more intimate there was other songs that obviously high energy and really going for it very musical very like very skillful um a great time great audience participation engagement um i t i definitely felt like i was proved wrong on so many levels and so that's why you have to really be open-minded to music and different kinds of music so that you can kind of get a feel for what it really is uh but yeah, guys, tell me if you've been to a gig that is completely different to what you'd normally listen to. Let me know whether you have seen any metal gigs, any bands that I might need to check out or see. Guys, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we post. As you can see, we, we try loads of new things and I'd love you to come on the journey with us. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Snapchat, Google Plus, The Works. So follow us on those platforms. All that remains for me to say, guys, is stay open and keep music live. <laughs>